Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benu with Israeli News Live and our special guest, Deborah Tavares with uh, StopTheCrime.net. And uh, Deborah's got a very fascinating document uh, that she's going to be sharing with you guys. It's extremely important. It is an urgent message. It must be uh, gotten out. And I'm going to step back here in just a moment while she uh, shares this document with you guys. But uh, Yana had sent this to me and asked me, could I have, uh, see if we could get some verification about this document. And so I sent, sent it to Washington, uh, to some folks that I know up there, and I got this response back. It says there have been several meetings regarding this. And it's talking about the document that Deborah's going to share with you, okay? While I can't disclose sensitive U.S. information here, what I can say is that there is a there, there are several Okanas cities that have gone into shutdown, Moscow, Sydney, etc., as well as several countries, Poland, France partially, Germany partially, etc. At the moment, the UK is in a politically challenging situation, as they have touted for some time now. A highly successful vaccination rate, hence going into lockdown, would create lots of problems. Nevertheless, the UK is expected to succumb to going into lockdown in mid to end of July. What I do find curious, interesting, is that at the height of the first coronavirus, we were told that a more dangerous variant was expected to hit in June of 2021. To me, it is not possible to predict such a thing so accurately. Now, that was a friend of mine there, his uh, synopsis of the document that I sent to him and uh, he did tell me on a separate occasion that they would allow some sort of natural disaster, as it's called, which it has been confirmed natural disasters are done intentionally, manipulated, weather weapons, uh, all the above, but uh, some sort of quote-unquote disaster that's when we would probably more than likely see our lockdown on our end, which is anticipated to be not too long after this event here that the document speaks about in July. Deborah, thank you for joining us. And uh, you've got a lot to speak about here. So I'm going to kind of back up a little bit and let you take it from there. StopTheCrime.net as well as uh, Deborah's other uh, website, Primary water is that is that dot com or dot org, Deborah? The primary, that's dot org. Dot primary org. Water dot org. Absolutely. Thank you, Deborah, for joining us this evening. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, today is Tuesday. It is June the 29th of twenty twenty one, and this is emergency broadcast. This is an emergency alert, and I'm going to read to you a leaked document from the UK about permanent lockdowns. And I want to first say this. Uh, there are many documents that are leaked, and there are errors in the documents, and that is to cause confusion so that those that are leaking the documents are not necessarily discovered. I received a leaked document on another issue some years ago. It was actually about frequencies and mind control, and it's actually the Aquarius operations briefing that I have on StopTheCrime.net. And there were specific errors errors made in the various documents that were distributed uh, as confidential documents. That way, if someone in particular leaked them, they would know who did. So as it, as it turned out, everyone that had received a copy of that document those many years ago died. They were all gone. So that document was able to be leaked without anyone paying the death consequence of leaking the document. So I want you to keep in mind that this document does have some errors. It will be posted on StopTheCrime.net. Um, I'm sending it out as an email blast out, so you can look in the email blast section on my site. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and read this to you now. It is an emergency alert, and again, everyone needs to send it everywhere. And I will start out by saying, certainly not many of us doubted 
that the controllers of this world uh, would not play their Indian and Nepal variant card. We all knew that there were more variants coming. They've been telling us this. So here's what this document says. Um, and I also want to state this as well. Keep in mind the dates of the lockdowns that you're going to hear me discuss in this uh, document could change should the controller's plans require adjustments. But this is the plan, and the dates may require slight adjustments, so keep that in mind. And uh, this was a memorandum, and it was sent to a number of people, and uh, it was from, uh, it was dated June the 14th of 2021. I won't read the names of who received this document. You can look that um, up for yourself on StopTheCrime.net. I'm going right into the meat of this document, again dated June the 14th of 2021. Subject, next steps, permanent lockdown of the UK, private and confidential. With the impending decision and announcement to be made later today by the Prime Minister in regards to the four-week extension of the lockdown of the United Kingdom, we now have a relatively short window of opportunity with which to finalize our next steps of the process. It remains crucial for everything to remain on track and for us all to remember our common purpose behind this. It has been tough and will get tougher, but provided that we stay united and that we manage to persuade the bulk of the country that we are doing this for good reasons, then we will be able to move on with part two of the plan. In short, this will be moving towards a permanent lockdown. The country from, from Thursday July the 15th, with the reasons for doing so being a spike in the new Indian Nepal variants of the virus, which as we know is just a rebranding of hay fever. I will read that again. This variant is a rebranding of hay fever. The virus has already been profitable and fruitful for us, and there is no limit to which we cannot further profit in both financial and reputational terms. Still, we must ensure that we have complete and utter cooperation from both the government and the media with this and use the line that, quote, it is just too risky to go ahead with summer. It's too risky to go ahead with summer. We can model increases of these variants in line. For example, anti-lockdown protest. This would be a great one to push in light of recent events. The Euro 2021 football matches in England and Scotland, and also where populations swell during summer months, seaside resorts, uh, Blackpool, Bournemouth, Brighton, um, and other locations in the UK, as well as theme parks, Alton Towers, the Trope Park, uh, Chessington World of Adventures, etc., as well as the countryside and tourist traps. In other words, they will model increases as being spawned, of course, from these areas I just read. Continuing, if we can get the message out that because of these variants, we are going to be, we are going to multiply and will completely crash the NHS, the National Health Service, if not correctly dealt with immediately. Then the public should be compliant and the compliance and unquestioning nature of the masses will be crucial getting us across the finish line and thereby we would have played our part in the changing of the country. It will then be for others to lock down as part of the Kalegi and the World Economic Forum Schwab plan for other reasons such as the environment and water scarcity from 2022 to 2023, food shortages 
2023 to 2024, and global finance and mass inflation 2024 to 2025, culminating in the finalization of the UN, the WHO, the World Economic Forum, Joint Global Kaligi Plan in 2025. Kaligi is spelled K-A-L-E-R-G-I. The memorandum goes on. Still dated June the 14th of 2021. And um, they go on with the impending decision. Um, let me see. Okay. With the impending decision and announcement to be made, and they go on again with what I just read to you, and my computer. Computers yeah. always do something really strange about this time, Deborah, especially when you're trying to bring out important facts. Well, isn't that the truth? I've been experiencing this across the board. Um, and I am experiencing it now, which I find to be very, very interesting. So we're going to have to hold for a minute. I apologize to everybody. I have been having massive computer problems as of late. Of course, I've been booted off of YouTube many, many times. And um, That's something that I have I've been told that... Uh... When, when you are in the crosshairs, so to speak, of different organizations, they will cause you uh, heartache, grief by cyber attacks, you know, sending a virus into your computer, just, just like they do with their enemy states that they go against out there. They do the same thing to individuals that dare to expose plots and plans that the elite have. Well, that's absolutely true, and I have found it another way at this moment. So I'll continue reading this in just a second, but I certainly want to alert everyone to the massive problems that we're having on our website, StopTheCrime.net, and we do have a backup video channel that I would recommend everybody take a look at. I have some um, unbelievable information about the Committee of 500 and some old footage of Dr. John Coleman delivering uh, a message about what that committee was behind. And you will see that this ties in perfectly with what you're going to hear me continue to read now. So they go on to say the capital variant central on Lon centered on London. Anti-lockdown protesters and football fans attending the Euro 2020 matches will be deemed responsible for a more aggressive variant, which causes lung, heart, and kidney problems. This will mean locking London down effective Thursday, July the 15th of 2021. The Dorset vi variant centered in Bournemouth, so they're going to have different types of variants, and they say people traveling to holiday in Bournemouth from London brought the capital variant to the area, and this is mutated into a new variant, which means that the area must be locked down effective Monday, July the 19th. This is, you're hearing the discussion about how they're going to transmit a false variant and say that there must now be lockdowns. The border variant, again, centered on the London-Scotland border. People traveling between the two countries have brought two different variants into two countries, which are mixing and spreading, mutating with other variants. We could also work this in with football fans attending Euro 2020 matches in Scotland. This will mean a transport has been between the two nations from um, Friday, July the 2nd. Please also be aware that in order to get more people to be vaccinated, the GlaxoSmithKline GSK is to stop the production of medicines for common colds, flu, and hay fever, 
along with Johnson and Johnson, Bear, Merck, as of the start of July. No chemist will be able nor allowed to sell them. Now remember, uh, I read to you previously that this is hay fever. So now they're going to stop the production of medicines for common colds so that people will not easily be able to uh, treat themselves at home. They'll be frightened into believing they have this new variant. They go on to say, we must count on the people's willing obedience as well as the prime minister and his ministers to be compliant with us. We all know that this, if this were to unravel and fall apart, that the consequences would be dire. If we can continue to manipulate the majority, this will make things a lot easier and allow us the extra breathing space required. Parentheses, you're a true patriot if you obey. Also, certain groups such as blacks, Asians, and gay community are being ignorant problematic with regards to vaccines. And vaccinations more is necessary to educate these groups into conforming and having both vaccines when introduced regarding our immunity from future prosecution this depends upon both the prime minister ourselves retaining a good relationship and both his and other government ministers complying he knows what leverage we have over him and therefore, as he is bound and guided by us first and foremost, we can get our way. However, we also have the literal get-out-of-jail-free card by stating that we were following the data and doing our best for the people. So long as the line continues to be put out and believed, such as in the case of issuing um the Meduslam to the elderly. We should just be fine and will avoid any flack. In closing, therefore, let's keep this up for the next few weeks and ensure that you are seen to be acting only in the best interests of the United Kingdom in fighting against the virus. Please print out this and keep it under lock and key. Do not forget basic security, as what the public doesn't know won't hurt them. As ever, deny all knowledge of having received this information, even if it means lying to those you know. We don't want our emails to be hacked or compromised. They go on to say, whilst we know there will be resistance to this, we must ensure that any and all resistance is kept to an absolute minimum. And this applies to all stratas of society, from the ordinary man, woman, in the street, to MPs and lords. Whilst over 70% support our actions, thanks to modifications from YouGov, we have, hard, we have a hardcore group of venomous so-called pro-freedom people who are determined to scupper us at any opportunity. The launch of the new G GB, that's, um, I guess that's Great Britain News, GB News channel, is only added fuel to the fire. Therefore, my plan is for us to apply as much pressure on social media companies in the United Kingdom to commence the following procedures immediately in order to protect us and what we are doing. Block, ban, delete any and all posts and users which go against scientific consensus. Now I will pause for a moment and add something. Consensus is not real. And that is what and how we have been duped through the Mind Control Institute of Sav Tavistock. But I'm going to continue reading. So again, block, ban, delete any and all posts and users which go against scientific consensus. For websites to restrict, deny access to the above group, including cancellation of any accounts. For anti-lockdown people and their group leaders 
to have their details forwarded to the police and to be arrested for inciting hatred, violence, and civil disobedience as provision for this already falls under the Coronavirus Act of 2020. For any parent guardian who openly states that they or their family will not be vaccinated to have their children or elderly relatives removed permanently from their homes and or for them to be removed from the property regardless of ownership or deed entitlements. I'm going to repeat this. Your children and elderly that are not vaccinated will be removed permanently from your home no matter what your ownership of your property is. Continuing, a copy of these proposals titled Combating COVID Disinformation 2021 has already been sent to Nick Quigg of Facebook and Jack Dorsey of Twitter and Susan Walecki of YouTube and Sondar of Google slash alphabet. Also, I understand that the Prime Minister is going to push for stronger action in this regard against the anti-lockdown movement, including deploying the army. And for every street in the United Kingdom to be strictly and rigorously policed during the forthcoming July lockdown. I have been updated by Circo. Now, I will pause for a moment. Circo has been much in the news, and they work for our controllers. So Circo is S-E-R-C-O. You should look that up. I will continue. I have also been updated by Circo, who are to release the stay-at-home bracelets, which will act like electronic tags and will be made compulsory for every household in the country with all residents and or tenants, etc., being made to have both by law. These bracelets will work with the new 5G technology and will notify the Central Command Center if a person has ventured outside their confined space, with punishment ranging from 50 thousand lira fine to detainment in custody for indefinite periods. The first batch of bracelets will be introduced in August in London, Brigington and Nottingham, uh, Cardiff, Belfast, uh, Manchester, Newcastle, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Liverpool, Leeds, Sheffield, Norwich, Cambridge, York, um, etc., the second batch being introduced the following month, and a third in November in order to reach outlying and hard-to-reach areas in the United Kingdom. The whole of the United Kingdom is scheduled to have these bracelets on and activated no later than December 1st of 2021. By getting people used to complying with us, we can break down any and all resistance to the new changes coming to the United Kingdom. However, we must always appear to be friends of the people and look as if we have their best interests at heart so that they do not think counter to what we want of them. We must get the media to push the line that as too many people more than are rated have died The message is always stay at home, protect lives, and save the NHS, as well as being scientists who also need to keep up our good profile with the media and and be as savvy as we possibly can. With regards to new extra variants, I would like to hear your opinions from the following prototypes. And then there is a very difficult-to-read list of prototypes. I will include that in the posting on StopTheCrime.net. I now am going to read to you an email that was received out of India uh, today. And uh, this is equally 
as as um, horrific, and uh, most of us now need to be aware, and we must prepare as best we all can, given what the United States will face, and we'll go over that a little bit after I read this email, because this is an Indian update, uh, and this is out of New Delhi in India. And uh, it starts out, snitches get stitches. The Indian government announced that if someone snitches, they can get a reward up to 336 United States dollars. Of course, their uh, money is um, INR, which are Indian rubles. So I did the equation, and that equals 336 dollars. Um, 336 uh, dollars if you snitch. In most egregious cases, if the cause of an arrest cannot be confirmed, the arrested will get the reward, and the complainer will get up to two years in prison. In other words, it has to be a legitimate snitch, and it has to be proven. In case, in case someone gets the jab and they die, the heir, H-E-I-R, or someone in their family will receive up to 400,000, this is in rubles again, which equals 530, 500, 5,387 United States dollars. So let me start over. In case someone gets the jab and they die, the heir in the family will receive up to $5,387, depending on how important the dead person was. This opens up euthanasia scenarios. The people who are deemed worthless by their family will be killed, and someone will collect the reward. I'm going to pause here for a moment, because many of you might be thinking this is outrageous and impossible. There's a document that I read multiple times with Dr. Stan Monteith during his radio show, Radio Liberty, in uh, California. And I have it on the source document page of StopTheCrime.net. And as I best recall, it's called uh, uh, The New Order of the New Barbarian and or um, 1969. Um, discussion and they talk about how people would be killed and how they would have a party for the person that uh, they were going to um, essentially uh, murder. They would have a um, a pill that they would be able to take. So I'm going to continue with this email. The government, this is again in India, the government is already seeing the positive results income tax IRS equivalent have recovered 14 kilograms in gold and five five million seven hundred thousand in cash from snitching operations already. The UK, Bangladesh, Australia, New Zealand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, and significantly four to six major financial and industrial Indian states are planning a total lockdown in August September. Timeline to be determined. This one is going to be another exercise in absolute control through force. At this time, they will also target the children as little as two years of age. In summary, they kill the old and infirm first, then destroy the female via serility with the jab, and target children so that they will not grow old. Not only do they kill us, as many as they can outright stunt the future to a point where human reproduction is yet another control to keeping the population at check. This person goes on to say there is no virus. They are creating it in a lab, propagandizing it via the media. And that's why I read to you earlier in the permanent UK lockdown that this is hay fever and they're taking off all the cold medications uh, from the pharmacies. Um, what they're planning in the United States um, is already occurring. And uh, we've been talking about this for many years. The United States is under siege, massive siege. 
Uh, we may not see uh, permanent lockdowns like this at this time because we're not an island. Of course, the UK is heavily monitored with CV cameras. When I was there in 2019, I was stunned at the amount of um, uh, surveillance in London and in those island countries. Having said that, the United States is facing the illusion of climate change and the use of weather weapons that is confronting every single town throughout this country. Whether you are in heat waves, fire zones, flooding zones, tornadoes or hurricanes or earthquakes or coastal disruptions, because that is all being created as well, the United States is being plummeted. There is absolutely no way our infrastructure is going to withstand the attacks and assaults of weather weapons now being defined as historical record-breaking events. This is what we face in this country, as well as massive, massive food shortages created by the illusion that we are running out of water. So I'm going to conclude with a good note given that I've just distributed and outlined a plot so unbelievable. But I want to end with this. We, none of us, anywhere, worldwide, are running out of water. We're running out of the truth. I run the website primarywater.org, and I also um, connect to the primarywaterinstitute.org, who is... Uh, Paul Power, he is the world's expert on primary water. If there's nothing that any of you learn, it is what water is and where it comes from. Water is hydrogen and oxygen created down below the mantle of the earth. We are the water planet. And water is a renewable. It surfaces endlessly. You are all as I speak now, standing on water. You are standing on water that has not been exposed to the atmospheric poisons and toxins of not only radiation, but the bomb testing and all of the, all of the aspects of chemtrailing and all of the toxins of, of fertilizers that are then all entrapped in the reservoirs that are now being dried up to create the illusion that we are all running out of water. We are not. It is a renewable. Please learn the water truth. Understand where water comes from, what water is, and I can say this. When some of you get desperate enough to get to water, just knowing that it is under your feet, you will be able to find it. Now, sadly, Paul Power, that has been in California here, drilling primary water wells since he was 17 years old, and he is now 80 years old. His home was burned down in 2020 in southern Oregon, and he has had some health issues. He is now returning to his home country, Hungary. So I have had the extreme pleasure uh, to interview Paul on numerous occasions with Steve and Yana. Those interviews are posted on stopthecrime.net on our back channel. So as you, as you type in stopthecrime.net, you will see a variety of, of options at the top, maybe three options. One will say go to the website. Don't go to the website. Then it will tell you under that that we've been taken down from YouTube. Yes, we have. And then after that, it will say, click here for all videos. We'll click there for all the videos. You will not only see the interviews that um, I've done with Yana and others as well, but you will also see the some of the most recent interviews that you must see to bring all of this to a reality because this is a very, 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 difficult time that we are in, and it's going to escalate. So, Steve, um, in wrapping this up, I wanted to keep this at a minimum, and I think uh, that um, I'm interested in, of course, letting the audience know 
that I will be uh, returning with Yana in a week or so. I know we were intending originally to have a weekly broadcast. I think uh, perhaps we will be getting back to that at some point soon. But um, I certainly want everyone that's listening to continue to listen to Steve and Yana's Israeli News Live broadcast and go to StopTheCrime.net and view the postings that we're putting on StopTheCrime.net. And not only did I leave you with the good news about water, um, it's also extremely important to understand and not judge people. Don't be angry at people who do not understand what is happening. Sadly, everyone, even all of you that are listening, we're all being controlled. And what I mean by that is mind control is now universal. Mind control has been accomplished. I've talked about that for many, many years. In fact, at the beginning of this broadcast, I referred to, to the Aquarius Operations Briefing, which you can find on StompTheCrime.net, and that is an older document uh, set upon the understanding that mind control would be the linchpin of control worldwide. And it is. It is now. This is why in the jaws of unbelievable danger and the creation of illusions that don't exist are being sold to us out of fear. So I would ask all of you, do not let this information cause fear. Continue to live one day at a time in that day. Love the ones you love the most even more and have concern for everyone. It is our job to try to get this information out far and wide so that people will have an opportunity to understand what is real in their world of illusions. And with that, again, I appreciate the opportunity to share this information this evening, Steve. Thank you so much. Thank you, Deborah, as well, for being here with us and getting this information out to the people. Uh, by the way, besides being able to see this video and hearing the video on Deborah's website, StopTheCrime.net, as well, uh, PrimaryWater.org, on iConnectFX, IsraeliNewsLive.com, this video will be translated over the next few days once the editors have had a chance to edit the English version of this. But it'll be translated into about nine different languages. And uh, so if you happen to be listening from there and it's a language that you may know that you can share with your friends on social media, please do so. That is one of the important ways of getting this to people in other countries in their own native languages. Uh, so again, nine different languages this video will be translated in. Thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live and Deborah Tavares with StopTheCrime.net.